Let's take a look at failover transitions. A failover transition is a planned switch between the source and target roles in a replication set. This transition keeps the replicated database online when we perform routine maintenance on a database in the set. In this demo, we have a replication set with a source database called DB0 and two target databases called DB1 and DB2. Suppose that we need to update the operating system or clean up some disk space on DB0. Because DB0 is our source database, the first step is a failover transition to DB1. When this failover completes, the new source is DB1, whereas DB0 and DB2 are the targets. We can perform maintenance on DB0 while DB1 has the source database role. After we finish maintenance, we'll fail back so that DB0 returns to the source role and DB1 becomes a target again. Before we begin, there are two prerequisites. First, clients will be disconnected, so we either notify them or perform this work off the peak hours. Second, we must update the properties files created with the replication set. We will need a REPL.properties file for each database. A sample file to copy and modify is located in the Properties subdirectory of the OpenEdge install directory. Each properties file is divided into different sections that control the communication of replication set members. We need a transition section in every REPL.properties file with the transition to agents property set. Here's a section on the REPL.properties file from the source system DB0. The transition to agents property holds a comma-separated list of agents in the order in which they will be promoted to source during the failover transition. The first agent listed will be the new source database. If it is offline, the second agent listed becomes the source instead. On the target system DB1, the transition to agents property will hold agent 0, agent 2. The source database always has a replication server and the target database runs a replication agent. To change roles, a database properties file needs one server section that defines source properties, one agent section that defines local agent configuration properties, and multiple control agent sections that tell the server which agents it can contact and how the agents can perform. In this example, each database has an agent with a matching agent number, such as DB0 has agent 0, and so forth. Now let's see how it's done. First, we initiate the failover transition from DB0 to DB1. In this example, just for demonstration, all databases run on the same host machine. The transition failover command checks the properties file on the specified source database to find the next source database, DB1. Note that this command disconnects all connected clients. It's a best practice to check the status after transition. When the status on DB1 is normal processing, we can restart record updates on the new source, DB1. We can now safely shut down DB0. The replication set remains with one source, DB1, and one target, DB2. After we perform maintenance on DB0, we start it again as a target database. Clients are connected to DB1, the current source database. DB1 needs to synchronize with DB0, so DB0 reflects database updates made while it was disconnected. When DB0 and DB1 are synchronized, it's time for a second failover transition to return DB0 to its original role as the source database. This time we switch all three members of the replication set to new roles. DB2 transitions from target to target, DB1 transitions from source to target, DB0 transitions from target to source. This transition synchronizes them on a new time index. Optionally, recheck the status. Specify DB1 as the current source. Initiate the failover transition from DB1 to DB0, which is the original source. A failover transition command always specifies the name of the current source. We can see updates in the log file. Check that all brokers have the normal processing status. When the second transition completes successfully, DB1 and DB2 are the target databases again, and the clients need to reconnect to DB0. We recheck the status using DB0 as the current source. Normal processing means we can restart record updates on the source database. There's more to learn, but this should give you a good foundation. Feel free to check out other database video tutorials. Visit the Progress Education community at peck.progress.com for the latest database administration courses. This concludes our look at managing failover transitions. 
To learn more about OpenEdge, visit the Progress Content Portal at docs.progress.com/openedge.